Welcome friends. Eight Extraordinary Meridian Qigong is an original integration. It's one of my favorite forms. I do it every single day to open up the Eight Extraordinary Meridians, which are the core meridians, basically, that all the other meridians flow out of. I'm gonna go through the form first silent, and then I'm gonna run through it a second time and narrate it more the second time. But first time, I just wanna go through it. I invite you to go along with me and just see how you feel, okay? I do prefer Qigong barefoot, but it's so rocky here, I have to use shoes. Here we go. All right, so let's do that once again. Now, normally I don't like to look down when I do Qigong, but I, I kind of have to on this rocky area. Generally, you want your eyes extended out to the horizon. This form begins right from here, just like opening of Tai Chi, okay? And you might have noticed that I incorporated some acupressure points. The Eight Extraordinary Meridians have what's called the Eight Confluent Points. It's kind of like a master point to activate each channel which I've incorporated into the form. So I'll explain those. So starting from here, take a big deep breath, and then exhale, sink your weight into your right foot as your palms face behind you. And then you lift up your left foot, and you step out to, to horse stance. Again, I gotta check because of these rocks. Generally, that's nice and smooth, okay? And then from here, you take another deep breath. Then you exhale, and we're going to do the reverse flow of the microcosmic orbit five times to build up some chi and velocity in the orbit. So keep your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Inhale up the front of your body. Exhale down the back. This is reverse flow. One, two, three. Big belly breath as you inhale. A little gentle perineum contraction as you exhale if you want. One more time, five. Okay, and just feel the energy in the microcosmic orbit overflow to the eight extras, okay? So go up the front again, over the top of your head, and back to C7, okay? Then the energy is going to go down the inside of your arms as you exhale, and up the outside, okay? Back to C7, and we exhale down the spine, down Du Channel. Here's the first of the uh, eight confluent points. This one, the name of this point is Dai Mai, which means belt channel. Technically, the confluent point for the belt channel, one of the eight extras, 
is gallbladder 41, but some masters use Dai Mai, which is actually gallbladder 26, because it's actually right on the belt channel. Okay, so that's what I prefer. Okay, so it's at the free end of the 11th rib, level with the umbilicus, okay? So you can feel your 11th rib, but roughly right here, okay? And belt channel is just this big belt. It's all about your aura, strong kidney energy. It has a lot to do with uh, sexual energy, of course, kidney energy. So take a big deep breath as you chi knife on the left side and feel it activating your left belt channel, or Dai Mai. Mai means meridian, Dai means belt or girdle, and then Exhale in the middle, and then back you press gallbladder 26 on the right side, and activate your right kidney and right dimai as you lean to the right. Really nice stretch. So amazing for the kidneys. I love this one. Sometimes I just do this one. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Exhale the middle. Now you press both of them. Deep breath, and feel the chi inside your body. Push your fingers out. Did you see how they went out like that? Okay. Now put your fingers to the left and to the right of the navel, and exhale. Lean forward. Oh, really chi knife deeply into your belly. I felt my low back line there. Now we're going to trace the belt channel itself. So from your navel, inhale and wrap all the way around to the door of life. Point on your spine opposite the navel. Then we're going to exhale down the outsides of the legs. Okay, so you're just tracing it with your hands. As you go down, 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 down. Exhale and then take a deep breath right here. And as you're holding your breath, Trace your arm down the inside of the arm and acupress triple warmer five and PC six, two more of the confluent points that activate the yin and the yang uh, linking vessels. Okay, way channels. Okay, still holding my breath and exhale. It's usually faster because I'm not talking. Now triple warmer five and PC six are both too soon, which is the distance of your finger. Those two digits of your finger, roughly two inches, but that's the exact way to measure it. Above the top and the bottom wrist crease. Triple warmer five is too soon above the top, right in the middle of your, um, you'll feel kind of a depression between the bones there. And then between the tendons too soon above on the inside, you've got PC6. Amazing points. Um, they use a lot in Chinese medicine for many things. And you press those. I'm pressing PC6 with my palm a little isometric going and then I'm pressing triple warmer five with my fingers okay like this pretty much the middle finger okay so you're doing that and activating your arm channels and then exhale and just kind of feel your arms and your legs connecting down to the earth and you do your breathing right here from frog pose now it's really good to hang out deep in frog pose like this every day most of us don't so I've integrated as part of my form just to hang out here for at least nine bellows breaths, sometimes more. You want to feel your palms and your soles breathing from the center of the earth into the center of your dantian, your center of gravity, okay? So we'll just do nine bellows breaths, which just is a rapid belly breath. And then after nine of those, big deep breath, and we're going to draw the chi up into our kidneys and go into a turtle pose here. One of my favorite iron shirt qigong poses that I do every day. So it's like you're drawing the earth chi up into your kidneys, big deep breath, right into your kidneys, see that? And then a turtle pose. And then hold your breath, tighten your perineum and kind of compress the chi into your kidneys a little bit. Tuck in your neck. And then exhale, hands to feet. Now compression breaths like that are really yang. So leaning forward like this is really yin. Leaning back is yang, leaning forward is yin. So I hang forward like this for a moment just to kind of disperse that energy. And while I was hanging forward, I thought, well, I'm going to do cross stretch and horse stance just to loosen up my low back even more. And I have a video on my channel. You can see that whole thing, cross stretch and horse stance. Basically just this. Hook your right foot underneath, your, or your right hand, excuse me, underneath your left foot. Left hand over the top. Inhale. And then exhale middle and then deep breath this side. Right hand over the top. Left hand under. Amazing for your low back and your kidneys. Just try it, you'll see what I mean. Exhale the middle. And then after cross stretch and horse stance, I'm going to press bladder 62, which is just below the lateral malleolus, and then kidney 6, which is just below the medial malleolus, okay? Kidney 6 and bladder 62. Really acupress those points, even spiral a little bit, okay, with my thumbs and my fingers. Activates your yin and yang chow vessels. 
yin and yang chow, they say. Or in English translation, yin and yang heel vessel. And then we're gonna inhale, really feel kidney six here, the inside one, because we're gonna inhale up the inside of the leg. So trace your inner meridian of your leg up and continue up the front ren channel, okay? All the way up to your crown. And make a triangle, okay? See that triangle right at your crown? And exhale up and feel your crown extending up to the North Star. And this last move is for Chiang Mai, the core channel. You're gonna really feel your horse stance, tailbone tucked in, really rooted through your feet, and inhale left. Feel your whole core channel open, left and right. Exhale middle, inhale right. Exhale middle, and then big deep breath. And straight down your core channel. And when you get to the bottom, sink all your weight into your right foot again. Step in, and then the last two, actually three confluent points to press. A small intestine three right here with your pinky. And then with your thumb, you want to get lung seven, which is one and a half soon, basically this distance, an inch and a half above the wrist right here. Another easy way to do it is just to interlace your thumbs and wherever your index finger touches, you'll feel a little depression between the tendons, is lung seven, okay? Press that with your thumb, small intestine three with your pinky, confluent points for the Ren and the Dew channels, and then really tuck in your tailbone and tighten your perineum. And that's Ren one for the Chong. So you're feeling Ren and Dew spiral with Chong in the center, the core channel. Textbook at Spleen four, kind of like you know the gallbladder 41 versus 26, but I like Ren one because that's right on the channel, okay? So I'm tightening my perineum, and then I have small intestine three, lung seven, and then just close your eyes and feel all your eight extras open, overflowing from your microcosmic orbit. Just feel that energy overflowing up the front, down the back, and into your arm and your leg channels. So the last thing contextually I wanna mention, I know that was very verbose, but if you just practice it, I think you'll feel the benefits of this and understand why it's one of my mainstays in my daily practice. Um, first of all, the eight extras are not really extras at all. They're the core meridians because they're working primarily with the 12, 12 regular meridians in Chinese medicine. They kind of de-emphasize the eight extras, even though they tell you that they're the core meridians, they don't get a lot of attention in Chinese medicine, bottom line. And my feeling is that that was post the, um, how do I say, the, I don't want to say Mao and sound conspiratorial, but basically when Chinese medicine got streamlined, it definitely got despiritualized, bottom line. So when you study the inner, alchem inner alchemical practices of the Tao, we're focusing so much on the eight extras because they're our core channels, not so much on the 12 regular meridians that they're using in acupuncture as much. So this is a really nice way to open up your channels and just feel the energy moving through them. And um, one thing I just want to mention, too, is that in Chinese medicine and the Tao, the eight extras are slightly different. It's all based on different lineages and so forth. But bottom line, in Chinese medicine, the eight extras don't include the arm channels. Okay, Even though triple warmer 5 and PC6 are the, the confluent points for the yin and yang way vessels, okay, but in the Taoist practice, we're including the arm channels. Okay, so I just want to mention that so there's no confusion why I'm tracing down the arms. Okay, because in Taoist practice, we include the arm channels. And lastly, I just want to say that this form is one of the practices I do every single day because it is just so, so, so central to having strong chi. I mean, that the two main meridians in your body that you want to be working with are the Ren and the Dew which are two of the eight extras, the dew channel, fire channel, up your spine, over the top of the head to the soft palate, and the ren up the front of the body to the tongue. So that's the microcosmic orbit. But then this idea of, or feeling of energy overflowing from the orbit, out your arm channels, out your leg channels, and then of course, the Chiang Mai, the central, central channel. You know, so this is just a great form to feel your meridians, acupuncture, herbs, acupressure, these are all good ways to feel the energy in your meridians, but doing it yourself 
with movement, with breathing, with visualization, with acupressing your own confluent points because you can go as hard as you want on your own body. It's a really, really effective way to open up these meridians. I recommend David Twicken's book. He's a Chinese doctor and a Taoist master called The Eight Extras, or The Eight Extraordinary, what did he call it? The Eight Extraordinary Meridians. If I'm saying that title wrong, I'll put a link to it, but that's the best book I've ever seen, not only for meditators, but for acupuncturists to actually work on those channels for people. But I invite you to try this form and see how you feel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Practice well.